Back almost a month ago, Atlanta United able to beat Columbus Crew in an empty stadium in Kennesaw to advance to the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open Cup. It was a strange, long trip, as the Grateful Dead once intoned many years ago, but a win is a win. Tonight, Atlanta United returns to KSU. No Grateful Dead this time, and they are opening the doors. Alex Glaze is live as fans wait outside the gates. Yeah, Jeff, now Fifth Third Bank Stadium is about one-seventh the size of Mercedes-Benz Stadium, but it's really the only alternate that Atlanta United has when they can't play at the Benz. But that doesn't stop people from coming out here and making the trip up 75 to pack this game. Tonight, they got a big game for the U.S. Open Cup, and the good news is if they win tonight and NYC FC wins, then the next match will be at the Benz. So these fans won't have to make that trip and deal with all this traffic. Now, KSU Stadium isn't, uh, it's not too bad. Now, it was originally built for women's soccer. The Atlanta Beat actually played here many moons ago, and it had stars like Hope Solo and Carly Lloyd on that team. So women's soccer has been in Atlanta before, and with the NWSL gaining steam, we wanted to know if women's soccer were to make a comeback here to Atlanta, would it get the support that Atlanta United gets? So I'm here with my friend Matt Lloyd. So Matt, what do you, what do you think? I think that uh, Atlanta's youth culture has a strong female base, so I think bringing them back. We did pretty well with the beat back in the day. The, the league itself didn't make it long enough, but uh, the beat still had Wait, I came out here watching play, so I think there'd be a lot to do. All right, well, we'll have to see what, what happens in these coming years. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get you ready for Atlanta United's game coming up in the 6 o'clock hour.